Fabio Barini Italian pronunciation F A B J O Borini born the 29th of March 1991 is an Italian professional footballer who plays as a forward for Milan and the Italy national team He started his career at Bologna before moving to Chelsea in 2007 in 2011, Barini joined championship side Swansea City on loan, and eventually signed for Roma, before moving to Liverpool in 2012. He spent the 2013–14 season on loan at Sunderland, and after a season back at Liverpool he joined Sunderland permanently in August 2015. Barini made his senior international debut in 2012, and was an unused member of the Italian squad that reached the Euro 2012 final. Club career Barini first started playing football at the age of nine and was raised supporting the local club Bologna. He joined Bologna in 2001, as a youth player. Chelsea Barini joined Chelsea in the summer of 2007 from Bologna. During the 2008–09 season, he was made first-choice striker for reserves. He was the top scorer for the reserves with 10 goals from 11 appearances. Barini scored against Manchester United in the FA Youth Cup. On 1 September 2009, he was added to Carlo Ancelotti's Champions League squad and he made the bench against FC Porto. He made the substitutes bench again a few days later on 20 September, replacing Nicolas Anelka in the 89th minute to make his first team debut for Chelsea against Tottenham Hotspur. His full debut came against Queen's Park Rangers in the League Cup third round. On 8 December 2009, Barini made his Champions League debut in the 2–2 draw against Apoel. He played his first FA Cup game against Cardiff City in the fifth round, coming on in the 88th minute for Didier Drogba as the Blues won 4–1. Barini underwent a hernia operation which put him out of action for quite some time. Captain Barini scored five times to bring Chelsea reserves back from 0–3 against West Bromwich Albion reserves on 20 October 2010. Chelsea reserves won the match 5–4. Topic. Swansea City loan. On 17 March 2011, Barini joined championship side Swansea City on loan until the end of the 2010–11 season. He linked up with his former Chelsea youth team boss Brendan Rodgers. Barini began his loan spell with the Swans by scoring a brace against Nottingham Forest. On 9 April 2011, he opened the scoring against Norwich City, with a free kick in a match which the Swans went on to win 3–0. He scored again during the Swans' 2–1 loss to Burnley at Turf Moor and bagged another brace during the 4–1 defeat of Ipswich Town at the Liberty Stadium. On 18 May 2011, Barini confirmed that he would not be coming back to Chelsea at the end of his loan spell with Swansea. He insisted he would not make a decision on his future until after the championship playoff final. In the championship playoff final, Barini won the penalty which secured a 4–2 lead and a return to English football's top flight for the Swans. <laughs> Palmer It emerged in the days following the playoff final that Barini had signed a pre contract agreement with Serie A side Parma, in his home region of Emilia Romagna, before he had even joined Swansea on loan. According to his agent, Marco De Marchi, Barini has secured a five year contract with the club. Parma confirmed the deal on 2 July 2011. Parma also paid Chelsea a training compensation of €347,500. Chelsea sued Palmer to FIFA Dispute Resolution Chamber, which on 28 August 2012 the Chamber ordered Palmer to pay €337,500 plus 5% interests counting from 31 August 2011. A scheduled payment was agreed on 18 April 2013. Roma 
On 31 August 2011, Barini signed for Italian club Roma on loan for €1.25 million, Euros, with an option to buy for €7 million. Euros. Barini signed a 1 plus 4 year contract, which he would earn €1 million Euros in gross in first season but increased to €2.3 million Euros in 2012 13 and ultimately €3.4 million Euros in 2015 16. He made his first official appearance for Roma in the 2 1 loss at home to Cagliari, replacing Pablo Osvaldo in the 80th minute. The following week, he made his first start against Internazionale in the 0 0 draw at the San Siro. He scored his first goal with his new team in the 2-1 away loss against Genoa. He then scored his first goal in the Coppa Italia against Fiorentina in Roma's 3-0 victory. Barini scored his second goal as a Roma player against Cessna in Roma's 5-1 victory. Barini was bought from Parma on a co-ownership deal for €2.3 million Euros on 23 January 2012. Moreover, Roma also paid agent Andrea Rosso €150,000 who broke the deal, as well as sent Stefano Okaka to Parma in a temporary deal with the option to sign half of the «card» for €300,000. On 5 February, he scored two goals against Inter in a 4–0 victory. He scored an equaliser in a derby against Lazio, and he scored a winner against Palermo on 12 March. On 23 June, Roma paid Parma €5.3 million Euros on blind auction, and signed the other 50% of Barini's rights. <inaudible> <inaudible> Liverpool On 9 July 2012, it was reported that Barini would become Brendan Rodgers' first signing as Liverpool manager, with the player expected to join before a pre-season tour of North America. On 12 July, it was reported that a deal had been reached between the two clubs, and on 13 July Barini officially completed his transfer to Liverpool, and requested to wear the number 29 shirt. On 13 July, Roma announced the fee was €13.3 million Euros including bonuses equivalent to about £10.5 million. After his move, Barini revealed that Italy teammate Mario Balotelli was responsible for urging him to join Liverpool, because Balotelli claimed the club Liverpool has the most exciting fans. Topic: 2012-13 season. On the 9th of August, Barini scored his first goal for Liverpool during his first game at Anfield in the second leg of a Europa League match against FC Gommel in the 21st minute. He made his Premier League debut on the 18th of August 2012, starting in a 3-0 loss against West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns. In October 2012, Liverpool confirmed that Barini would miss the next 3 months due to a broken foot which he initially suffered in a game against Manchester United. Barini made his comeback for Liverpool on 9 January 2013, replacing Raheem Sterling as a second half substitute away to Manchester United. On 17 February 2013, Barini suffered a dislocated shoulder after a collision with Swansea City's Kyle Bartley only eight minutes after being brought on as a substitute for Luis Suarez. Brendan Rodgers' post match comments suggested that Barini would be out for the remainder of the 2012 13 season. He returned to the team on 27 April 2013, coming off the bench in the 72nd minute to score his first Premier League goal and Liverpool's fifth in a 6–0 away win against Newcastle United. In his first season with Liverpool, he played 20 games, scoring twice. 2013–14 season, Sunderland loan. Barini signed on a season-long loan with Sunderland on 2 September 2013. He made his Sunderland debut in a 1–3 home defeat to Arsenal, coming on as a 71st-minute substitute for Karis Mavrias. He made his full debut in a 3–0 away defeat at West Bromwich Albion, but was subbed off in the 59th minute for Josie Altidore in a match that proved to be then-manager Paolo Di Canio's last game in charge after he was sacked a day later. 
Kevin Ball was put in caretaker charge of Sunderland's League Cup tie at home to Peterborough United. Barini was again put on the substitutes bench, but was subbed on 13 minutes from full time for Emmanuel Giacchirini. Sunderland won the match 2 0. On 27 October 2013, Barini scored his first goal for Sunderland in the Tyne Weir derby against Newcastle United, providing the winning goal in their 2 1 victory. Barini scored a late equaliser in the League Cup quarter-final against Chelsea, and later assisted Ki Sung Jung's extra-time winner. On 28 December 2013, Barini was taken hospital after playing the first half of Sunderland's draw with Cardiff City, due to illness, but was released later that day. On 7 January 2014, Barini scored Sunderland's winning goal from the penalty spot as they beat Manchester United 2–1 at the Stadium of Light in the League Cup semi-final first leg. On 1 February, he scored in Sunderland's 3–0 victory against Newcastle United at St James Park to give the Black Cats a double over their North East rivals. On 2 March 2014, he scored the opening goal in the 3–1-2014 Football League Cup final defeat to Manchester City. On 19 April, Barini scored Sunderland's winning goal in a 2–1 win away at his former club Chelsea to inflict Jose Mourinho's first ever home league defeat as manager of the club. The result kept his parent club Liverpool two points clear of Chelsea at the top of the Premier League table. In the following days, Barini was named as Sunderland's Young Player of the Year. Barini scored another penalty on 27 April, which was Sunderland's second goal in a 4–0 home win over Cardiff City, a result which saw them move out of the relegation zone. On 7 May, he scored in a 2–0 win against West Bromwich Albion, to ensure the team would not be relegated from the Premier League, he scored in Sunderland's only goal in a 1–3 defeat to Swansea on the final day of the season. Topic: 2014–15 season On 14 May 2014, in his first match since his return from Sunderland, Barini scored in a 4–0 friendly win over Shamrock Rovers at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. During the preseason, he was being substituted after 12 minutes of a 1–0 friendly defeat to Roma at Fenway Park on 24 July 2014 following a heavy fall. Rogers acknowledged that Barini would require treatment, but insisted that the injury was not serious. It was confirmed that Liverpool accepted a £14 million bid from Sunderland, however, he decided against the switch, instead, choosing to fight for his place in the Liverpool first team. On 21 December 2014, Barini was sent off for two yellow cards in a 2 2 draw against Arsenal at Anfield, despite only playing 16 minutes as a substitute. The second was given for a high challenge on Santi Cazorla which tore the Arsenal players' shirt open. He scored his second Premier League goal for Liverpool, against Aston Villa on 17 January 2015, from a cross by Jordan Henderson in a 2–0 win. 2015–16 season Topic: 2015–16 season. On the 31st of August 2015, Barini joined Sunderland on a four-year deal for a reported fee of £8 million, potentially rising to £10 million. After struggling for form and fitness, Barini scored his first goal of the season in a 3-1 away defeat to Chelsea. On 1 March 2016, Barini scored a stoppage time equaliser, as Sunderland salvaged a 2-2 draw at home to Crystal Palace. Manager Sam Allardyce labelled the strike as goal of the season. On 15 April 2016, Barini opened the scoring from the penalty spot in a crucial 0-3 away victory over fellow strugglers Norwich, a result which moved Sunderland within one point of safety. On 7 May 2016, Barini scored in a home match against Chelsea to level the score at 2-2, in a match which Sunderland went on to win 3-2 due to a Jermaine Defoe goal three minutes later, to move out of the relegation zone. Sunderland's survival was confirmed in a 3–0 victory over Everton later that week. 2016–17 season Barini started Sunderland's first game of the season against Manchester City. 
On the 27th of August 2016, he suffered the torn ligament while taking a free kick in the one-to-one draw with Southampton, which he was substituted later. He was out due to the injury for three months. He returned to the starting lineup on the 14th of December in the one-to-zero loss against Chelsea. His first goal of the season was a last-minute stunner against Manchester United on the 26th of December. His second goal of the season was a last-minute equaliser against West Ham United. He scored the goal just two minutes after coming on the field. He finished the season with two goals in 26 appearances in all competitions as Sunderland finished bottom of the table and was relegated. Topic: 2017-18 season, AC Milan loan. On 30 June 2017, Barini joined Serie A club Milan on loan, with an obligation to buy. On the 11th of July, he made his debut in friendly match against FC Lugano. He made his official debut for the club on 27 July, in a 1–0 away win against CSU Cryover in the first leg of Milan's Europa League third round qualifier. He scored his first goal for the club in Milan's 6–0 Europa League playoff win against Shkendija on 17 August. On 28 September, he provided two assists in a 3–2 home against Rijeka in the Europa League. 7 on 7 June 2018, Sunderland announced Barini to join Milan permanently on 1 July 2018. International career On 13 November 2009, he made his debut with the Italy U21 squad in a 2–0 loss against Hungary. Barini was named captain of the Italian team for the 2010 UEFA European Under-19 Football Championship. On 29 March 2011, he scored his first goal for the U21 team in a friendly game against Germany. On 26 February 2012, Barini was called up to the senior national team by head coach Cesare Prandelli. He made his debut on 29 February 2012, in the friendly match against the United States. He was included in the Italian squad for UEFA Euro 2012, but did not come off the bench. In May 2013 he was included in Italy U21 squad for European Championships held in Israel. On 15 June 2013 he scored a winning goal in semi-finals of the competition against the Netherlands and a consolation goal in the final against Spain. Following the competition's completion he was announced in UEFA's official team of the tournament. In May 2016, Barini was named in Italy's preliminary 28-man training squad ahead of UEFA Euro 2016. Topic: <laughs> Style of play Regarded as one of the most promising young Italian forwards of his generation, in 2012, Barini was named one of the top players born after 1991 by Don Ballon. Barini is a quick, agile, and hard-working striker, with good technique, movement off the ball, and an accurate shot. He is capable of playing in several other offensive positions, and he has also been deployed as a winger, or as a supporting striker. During his time at AC Milan, he was used by both, Vincenzo Montella and Gennaro Gattuso, in more defensive roles such as an attacking wing back or wide midfielder in a 3-5-2 formation or even as a full back in a 4-3-3 formation. His all-time favorite position is, however, as a supporting striker in a 4-4-2 formation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career statistics. Topic: <laughs> 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 Club. As of match played the 26th of May 2019. Topic: International. As of the 29th of February 2012. Topic: Honors.
Topic Club Swansea City Football League Championship Playoffs, 2010-11 Sunderland Football League Cup, runner-up 2013-14 International Italy UEFA European Championship, runner-up 2012 Italy U21 UEFA European Under-21 Championship, runner-up 2013 Topic Individual UEFA European Under Twenty One Championship Team of the Tournament Twenty Thirteen